it, it's sort of like a radio. Uh, it's like a radio. You got to tune it in, but once you get it on the station, you just sort of receive it. He could go to that place where he was receiving his inspiration, and then it was just sort of, it would just sort of take it care of itself, and uh, that's not easy to do. He was he was a receiver. He was he was possessed. He seemed to be an open channel, and it just flowed through him. He never it never ever seemed to kind of dry up. He was a channel in some way. When I listen to him, I. I have difficulty breathing. It's it's so intense and and beautiful. And he never ever seemed to be lost in any way. I mean, it wasn't ever that he took a a, a breather or to, or paused to think where he was going to go next. It just flowed out of him. Always seemed to flow out of him. And he could just keep going on and on and on and just you know talking to you. It was great. When I heard it, I thought he was either crazy or brilliant. It was perfect. And that became the new Holy Grail, you yeah. know, for me. To me, it was the voice of God. The hairs on the back of my neck stood upright at it. Euphoria. <laughs> no, it's, it was, yeah. It was, I mean, it was perfect. Blew right through the roof. It was unbelievable. It was like, you know, I'd never seen anything like it. It's like thunder. It was like lightning. Every time he struck, it was frightening. It's a terrible beauty, you know, an emphasis on both words. And uh, it's fascinating to watch him. Watch him and listen to his voice. There's nobody that can, can live up to the promise of that much scary maleness. And he just laid it on. He's sweaty, he's out of control. He's playing it like he's working you like, you know, you're, I'm, I'm a pretty powerful person and I was in his power and the, the dream of every strong woman is to be overcome by a strong guy. And it was dangerous. I mean, I, you know, I t you watch it again and again and you're frightened because you think these guys are mad, this guy's crazy, he's gonna go off. And he does, and it scares you every time. I've never seen anything so dangerous, so exciting. It really is, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Full bored, crazed, adrenaline, blown out mania. As a man, he's, he seems uh, conservative and sort of held in, but the breadth of his imagination. He's a very sensitive man, and oddly enough, which I don't think many people would think, he's shy. He didn't speak very much, he was very quiet. But when he, when he said something, uh, it was very clear and to the point, and I was very appreciative of his presence. Uh, he doesn't have to talk about it, he does it. You look at him, you meet him, and you, he's just very, not so much introverted, but just very calm. And, um, and you read what he's written, and you don't know where it comes from. I don't know where this stuff comes from, because you don't see it in his face or his eyes, or you don't hear it in his conversation. Very quiet, but if something isn't right, he knows it. He's always thinking. And you could never mistake his quietness for someone who isn't actively thinking and observing. He is absolutely there at all times. Very, very tuned into the moment. Very aware of when the real stuff is happening. Uh, he doesn't ever let it get old, stale, repetitive, none of that stuff. He'll never let something go that he, that he doesn't feel is quite right or quite there. He's a very sensitive guy and he's very intelligent and he's, he's so alive and he feels, picks up everything. He makes it really special. You know, he can take it average relatively dull moment and make it into something electrifying. I think the, the most lasting memory I always have is his passion. The power and the passion. His strength was, was in that, that sort of power he had. We're still sitting here talking about something that's so real, so alive, 
just when you think it's off the, the radar, I don't think it ever will be because of the, the absolute power that it has. An energy, a life force, a focus, a drive. That passion and that dedication and that desire. He loved what he was doing. He, he, he loved everything about the, what he was doing. He was, um, he had such a controlled sort of glee. Incredibly passionate. I think he loved everything he was doing.